originally started my creative life at art school, but re really uh, my whole focus on the four and a half years I was there was uh, training to be a dancer. So when I graduated from art school in painting, I joined the ballet. Uh, and it's taken me all this time, about 40 years actually, to bring the dance and uh, the, the art together. I've called the exhibition Embodied Knowledge uh, and I'm very aware when I was a dancer that when I was helping choreographers devise work or whether I was devising my own work, I was using my body to remember either works I'd been in before or sensations or flavours or tastes or musical dynamics and so this idea of actually calling the ex exhibition Embodied Knowledge seemed to be quite perfect for me. I wanted it to almost be wallpapered, just in black and white. Steel wires uh, bolted to the wall and then I could move around a, a selection of images and each grid would somehow represent a, a way of thinking. These portraits came out of my imagination as I tried to remember who my uncles and aunts were. And I know that when we remember something, we change it because that's what makes us creative. I think um, there's something called flow when uh, one, me, you, uh, is absolutely lost in the moment, when the inner critic shuts down, when all the decisions feel right, uh, when uh, you're completely present with what you're, what you're doing. I hope in some of the paintings that I've done and some of the prints I've done uh, and some of the improvisations I do every afternoon, I can somehow touch on that area. Creativity for me is physical and mental. And so I can't be truly creative if I'm not being physical and I can't be truly creative if my brain isn't engaged and embodied in the task.